Hello everyone, and in this video we're going to do an in-combat comparison of all the weapons available to the Infiltrator class, their key points and certifications. I have split the rifles into two sections, rifles with scopes above 6 optical zooms and rifles below 6. That was a fantastic bug, Infiltrator acting as a green beacon. Gotta love medics. The VA-39 Spectre, a starter weapon with a loss of identity. The rest of the rifles I can split into two categories, high damage bolt action with long range scopes, your typical sniper rifle, or a medium damage semi-automatic rifle with close range sights. But the Spectre is a close range rifle with long range scopes. I wish I had a pound for every time I said range there. All I can say about this rifle is if you're going to use the Infiltrator, get a different rifle. XM98. For 100 certification points, this is worth it just to replace the Spectre. Frankly, this should have been the starter weapon. This rifle for the price point is just solid. You're looking at two or three shots a kill, of course one if you shoot them in the head, and the only difference between this and the V10 is a slightly slower projectile speed, but it's so marginal that you wouldn't even notice the difference. I would use this over the V10 and save myself 900 certification points or 450 station caps. The V10 is a solid rifle, nothing special. I feel it's overpriced when you compare it to the XM98 and everyone knows if you don't hit him in the head the first time your kill 8 out of 10 times is going to get away so I would say just stick with that XM98 if you were looking at this rifle at all. The Parallax, the hardest hitting rifle we have but the increase is pretty small also, it has the fastest projectile speed, and when you first use it, it takes you by surprise. The only time that extra damage affects you is if the enemy took one extra shot from anything before you landed the killing blow. As I said, you won't notice it, you can't predict that sort of stuff. If you want the best long range rifle, this is still it. You're just going to want that extra damage to get you then few extra kills and then random event times. The Ghost. This is a weapon I thought they got their wires crossed with when they first looked at it. I'm like, it's a high damage rifle with short range scopes. But then we're looking around, I could see that there's actually a very niche set of group of people that would use this. People are like running around in groups. You've got the high power damage of a sniper rifle with the agility that a close range scope gives you. All in all, it fits this role very well. Generator destroyed. Phantom. First of the scout rifles. Scout rifles do most of their damage up close and personal. So I've added the damage drop off stat. Phantom per shot does more damage than the Nyx at the same rate of fire, but it has twice the amount of reload speed. So you could get caught in a few hairy situations. It's also very good at a greater distance than the Nyx and also it just helps you play that kind of mediocre role where you can get up close to the enemy but also hide behind that rock and keep yourself a little safer. The Knicks the Nyax, however you want to pronounce it, I'm going to butcher the name anyway. This is where you want to be a sneaky infiltrator. This may do less damage per shot than the Phantom, but there's a few attachments that you can get that increase the hit fire accuracy. This weapon is for getting up behind someone, unloading half a clip, disappearing again. It almost makes you wish you could go boom behind 
just to give them a little scare before you do it. The Artemis. If the Pulsar LSW and the SV88 had a baby, this, ladies and gentlemen, would be it. The Artemis does the same damage per bullet as an LMG or a carbine, and being an automatic, you've just given a stealth class a machine gun. Even shooting at a bit of range, the recoil is so effective, you can see in one of these clips that you can take someone out quite easily at a fairly good distance. I had a blast with the Artemis, and this had to be my hands up best weapon for getting up close and personal and raping some faces. The Beamer, standard issue. It's crap. Let's put it this way, it's absolute shit. You can use it, but I'd only ever use it if you actually really, really have to. It's a starter weapon that everyone gets, but it takes nearly a full click to kill somebody. 17 shots, close range, spreads them. Um, it's alright, it'll do. But like I say, just the best of the game. It's never been done. The Manacle, another pistol you can get. You've got 500 surf points, 700 stations. It actually puts out quite a bit of damage. You could probably get two kills off of the clip. It's not bad. I would say it'd be worth to get it, but this is another weapon if you've got the station cap. Why not? It does a nice bit of damage and also for all them instances that you just run out of the clip and they take one, two shots to die, you can pull out a manticore pistol and boom, voila, you've got the kill you've already done before. Click the annotations on screen now for other classes and factions and have a good day.